Hey everybody, so just yesterday I made a video on my actual channel on Big Joel about Gary Chapman's book, The Five Love Languages, and I was pretty critical of it. Obviously, you can go watch that if you want to, but today, right now, I just want to read you a comment that I got on that video that I thought was a bit interesting. Uh, so let's get into it. Isn't this punching down a little bit? Like, yes, obviously healthy relationships are going to use all of these languages to communicate, but the concept isn't for people in healthy relationships. It's for people who don't know how to talk to their partners. So I find this comment just extremely interesting, and that's for a few reasons. First, obviously the thing that caught my eye about it was that phrase, punching down. Isn't it punching down what I do in my video? I don't think it's really possible to punch down on advice that somebody gives. Like, the advice that Gary's giving in the book isn't a, a, a person. It's not like a person who I can make feel bad. It's, it's, it's a book. So I don't think I punch down on the, the book, on the concept of the love languages. I don't think I'm going to stigmatize the love languages. But that being said, I actually find other aspects of this comment a bit more interesting. Particularly this bit, where the person says that people in healthy relationships are obviously going to use all of these languages to communicate. I find this to be really interesting because it actually strenuously, strenuously disagrees with Gary Chapman's analysis. And it it doesn't even seem aware of that. No, the five love languages says. We are not always engaging in these five love languages. They are not interrelated. You don't do all of them in a healthy relationship. For the vast, vast majority of people, they care about one particular love language the most, and all of the other love languages massively less. That's what the book says. For some of them, in fact, the love languages they don't care about are so unimportant that learning about them is as difficult as learning Chinese. The book is absolutely, absolutely not saying, you know, if you're having problems in your relationship, try starting with one of these love languages and move from there. It actually is suggesting a psychological theory about love, and that is what I'm responding to. One last little bit of this comment that I found noteworthy is where they say uh, that the book is for people who don't know how to talk to their partners. So I think this is incorrect and incorrect in, in a kind of nuanced way. The five love languages isn't actually for people who don't know how to talk to their partners. It's for people in struggling marriages. And Gary Chapman suggests that the reason why they are in struggling marriages is almost always because of communication issues and that those communication issues can be solved by attuning to their partner's love language. See, that's another problem with the book, right? It, it paints relationships in this extremely broad, overly ambitious brush it gives itself far too much credit in analyzing the problems that people have, and it gives them a one-size-fits-all advice that oftentimes probably doesn't make much sense. So obviously this comment doesn't matter all that much, it's not that big of a deal, but I just find it striking how easily we find ourselves sort of reading past the ideas that people say in the name of kind of defending them. There is plausibly a version of Gary Chapman's love languages that makes more sense, that is better. Uh, but that's not the one we got. That's not the book that was written. That is not the best-selling book about pop psychology that we got. Um, Chapman is doing something. He wants you to believe something about yourself and other people. And it's important, fundamentally important, I think, to evaluate what he's saying and not be afraid of some theoretical abstract harm you're doing to some failing couple. That couple's gonna do what they're gonna do. They're gonna find value wherever they're gonna find value. It's really not my business. It's okay for them to feel any way they want to. Uh, but I'm talking about the book. I'm talking about the book written by a guy. Uh, so have a nice day.